regularly now. <laughs> We're doing generosity. Doing generosity. <clears throat> the term generosity, a special meaning to the teacher of God, is not the usual meaning of the word, in fact. It is a meaning that must be learned, and learned very carefully. Like all the other attributes of God's teachers, this one rests ultimately on trust. For without trust, no one can be generous in the true sense. To the world, <clears throat> generosity means giving away, in a sense of giving up. To the teachers of God, it means giving away in order to keep. This has been emphasized throughout the text and the workbook, but it is perhaps more alien to the thinking of the world than many other ideas in our curriculum. Its greater strangeness lies merely in the obviousness of its reversal of the world's thing, king. In the clearest way possible, and at the simplest of levels, the word means the exact opposite to the teachers of God and to the world. I think a lot of people, including myself, um, think of generosity on a monetary level where mm -hmm. churches teach you to tithe and mm -hmm. uh, to give to the poor and to, to do things. But uh, since doing this, I'm seeing that generosity is no. Generosity is extending the forgiveness oh, the in the generosity of spirit. I, I, I mean, it's done that. That's oh, absolutely, that's what the Course is emphasizing <coughs> because he's we're emphasizing a level of spiritual reality rather than physical. So it would be more focused on what are your thoughts about, what are because whatever thoughts you're given and whatever words you're speaking are given to you. Because he's saying, there's, we, we have this idea, like he said, this, there's no, it says, in the clearest way possible at the simplest levels, the words mean exactly the opposite to the teachers of God and to the world. Giving to the world says you're giving up. So if I give you innocence, I give it up. If I give you value, I give mine up. If I give you I, everything I give you or anyone, I give up. And he's saying, per the course, like you said, no giving is receiving. So if I give you all these, then I have it. Yes, these are subtle things. Takes time, doesn't it? Got it. Read this book a few times before you realize some of the ways in which he's. This is all encompassing our thoughts about other people and how it affects us and how we're giving these gifts, or we're trying to get get rid of stuff by giving it away. And it, in the Course, it's explaining whatever you give away, you keep. So what do you want? Because that's what you want to give away. Well, that's kind of the opposite of what we think in the world. And it is true that the Bible teaches it and that churches use this principle to convince people to tithe because there, it is, there is a truth to what you give, you receive. And this is where they understand it better at the physical level. But it's actually deeper, like you said. It actually goes beyond that, that law of God thought system applies to all levels, mental, physical, emotional, everything. The emotions you give out, you're giving to yourself. You attack with anger, you're giving yourself anger. You're not getting rid of it. It seems like you're getting rid of it. You're not getting rid of it. You're making more, and you're keeping it. It's when you give love, you're expanding love. That's why the Course is all about teaching peace to learn it, teaching love, forgiveness to learn it, 